Hello. This is this lecture is going to walk through walk you through writing your first Java program and explaining you the basics of what makes a Java program and the mechanics and this the basic syntax and how to write it and how to run it and understand you know what goes on in a Java program. So without further ado, let's get started. So the very first thing you'll notice in a Java program is this thing called public. Public class hello world what does that mean every all kinds of code that is written in Java is always within a class in this class we have named our class hello world which has a public access method public access modifier a access modifier is something which tells the Java system if this class who can access or or see what it would or use what this class offers and by saying that this is a public class we make all the methods within this class accessible to packages outside uh, anywhere in the Java system so anybody can run this program and run the method which this uh, class contains and the next thing we see is a sequence you see over here or actually we see the curly brace so this is the beginning of a code block so every every time you open a code code block you have to close the code block and you will see it that it has to have a matching curly brace somewhere okay and the next thing we see is this sequence of characters which is of significance is slash slash followed by an asterisk this is a c plus c style comment block it's the beginning of a c style comment block this tells java when it when java sees a slash followed by an asterisk it means that java will ignore anything that comes after it you know whatever you have after it and then to close that comment block we'll have another asterisk followed by a slash and that means that you know this Java is going to stop ignoring all the everything that we're seeing and it's going to care about everything that comes after it so these common blocks are usually used for many purposes the, the main purpose being documentation whenever you write a program you are supposed to s write down what this program does and how it does it and your motivation for creating this program so when you have written you know a few thousand lines of code you can under you can come back and refer to read documentation and understand what's going on without reading into details of the program and the program which will come after you will be able to look at this documentation and make sense of what's going on in this program so that's our uh, common block used for documentation and uh, there are other uses like versioning you can keep track of which version of program of this program is this you can keep author names and other details you know bookkeeping stuff you can have it in this common common blocks and then we see the main method the main method in the Java class is this root of all program of all execution this is where the program starts executing when you run this program the first thing that happens is the control goes to this main method and whatever is inside this main method will happen before anything else happens in the program that's very important and for now you know you, you should we'll explain it later but you should know that the main method will have this particular signature which says public static void main and string bracket open bracket close args kind of signature and we will we will talk about it later why it is so and what this public static void etc means but for now whenever you have a program and you want it to run you need to have a main method with this signature public static void main 
and, uh, and that's where your program will execution will start and then we have something else um, I mean we definitely do have the opening of uh, of a code block this is the method block uh, opening statement and then we have two slashes this is basically a single line comment it's a C++ plus plus Sorry, excuse my handwriting. C++ style single line comment. You use single line comments when you're talking about some specific details about what's going on in the next uh, statement or in the next few lines. And you use these uh, comment blocks when you're talking about that you're describing a lot more stuff. You know, makes sense. Very simple enough. And the next line we have is a Java statement. A Java statement is a Java command followed by semicolon. Every Java statement is required to be terminated by a semicolon. So here this statement is system.out.println. This, stat this statement or this command uh, basically prints whatever is what's given to it on a computer screen or a console we are basically telling it to print hello world These, the string hello world needs to be printed to a computer console so when you execute this statement you should see hello world show up on a computer console simple enough and there you have it there you have your first Java program and you know how it how it works and then we have this curly brace to close the method and another curly brace to close the class remember whenever whenever we have an open opening curly brace for a code block we need we will need to have a matching closing curly brace otherwise the program will fail to compile and 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 it this all these braces also signify code blocks and you can you could possibly have a code block inside the method also and you know blah bunch of statements here obviously the statements have to be terminated by a semicolon so let's see now you have written the program what do you do next well you need to save the program in a file and the file name should end with dot java this is a requirement this is the requirement of the java programming language it's a coding convention and um, the file name should be the same as the name of the public class that, that the file contains. And here that is hello world. So we're going to write, then we're going to save the program as hello world dot java. Um, and Java is case sensitive, so remember to have the same case as the class name, capital H, small e, LLO, capital W, ORLD. If you have a small h, that would be a diff that would be a syntax uh, compile time, you'll get an error and that would not match. The, the way you would compile this program would by writing Java C. By I'll show you. Java if you have Java installed on your system, you write Java C, you type in Java C, hello world.java, and this is going to produce something called hello world dot class. And now that you have produced a class file, the way you would run it would be saying java hello world this will run the program basically we, your control will go inside and run this main method and execute the statements inside the main method in our case system dot out dot print line so we want to see hello 
world. And there you go. That's your first Java program. And congratulations. And we will see, we'll learn a lot more fun stuff.